connect to 120 volts power supply. Turn on the power switch. Turn on the ignition switch. The instrument panel lights up. The first one is the ambient temperature sensor. Test through a multimeter. You need to turn off the power first. Adjust the multimeter to the resistance range. Connect the terminals. Detect the resistance value. Adjust the knob. You can see that the resistance value displayed on the multimeter changes. Test completed. This is the oil pressure simulation button. Press the button. The instrument displays the oil pressure indicator. Simulate insufficient oil pressure. Turn off the button. The indicator light goes out. This is the engine water temperature. Adjust the water temperature. You can see that the water temperature display on the instrument panel increases. Demonstration completed. This is the engine speed knob. Adjust. The crankshaft signal disc rotates. Speed up the speed again. Increase the speed on the instrument panel. Reset the speed to zero. The signal disc stops rotating. This is the vehicle speed knob. Adjust the vehicle speed. The instrument panel shows that the vehicle speed increases. The wheel speed sensor rotates. Reset the vehicle speed to zero. This is the brake fluid level indicator switch. Turn on the switch. Indicator light on. Simulate low brake fluid. Turn off the switch. Adjust the fuel gauge knob. You can see the fuel gauge change. This is the charge indicator button. Turn on the switch. The charge indicator light on the instrument panel turns on. Turn off the switch. This is the left turn indicator. Turn on the switch. The instrument panel displays the left turn indicator. Turn off the switch. This is the right turn indicator. Turn on the switch. The instrument panel displays the right turn indicator. Turn off the switch. Turn on the high beam switch. The instrument panel displays the high beam indicator. Turn off the high beam. Turn on the front fog lights. The instrument panel displays the front fog light indicator. Turn off the front fog lights. Turn on the rear fog lights. The instrument panel displays the rear fog light indicator. Turn off the rear fog lights. Turn on the lighting. The instrument panel lighting lights on. Turn off the lighting. Turn off the ignition switch. Operation completed. Demonstrate the function of the terminals on the panel. Adjust the multimeter to the voltage range. Turn on the ignition switch. Connect the terminals. The multimeter displays the voltage here. Demonstration completed. Turn off the ignition switch. Perform fault settings. Take number 1 as an example. Corresponding panel here, fault indicator light. Turn on the ignition switch. Engine fault indicator light on. Set the fault. Indicator light off. Restore the fault. Indicator light back on. Turn off the ignition switch. Perform OBD diagnosis. Connect the plug. Turn on the ignition switch. Select the corresponding brand. Click OK. Select the corresponding model. Click OK. Enter the corresponding system. Read the fault code. View the fault code. Diagnosis completed. Turn off the ignition switch. Disconnect. Turn off the power switch. Disconnect the power connection.